It is a stormy day here in Northern California. Welcome to my third episode of a sea glass hunting here in the San Francisco Bay Area. It is raining on us, the wind is blowing, the seas are churning. This is an intense sea glass hunt, but these things I am finding out here are simply incredible. This is definitely worth the trip out here. Let's take a look. First off, inside the bag, I'm gonna show you what I've collected so far, some fantastic colors. I can open it up here. Oh boy. Oh dear. It is blowing in the wind. Uh, the rain just picked up like big time. We've got some spectacular colors in there. Nothing too incredible, but uh, definitely a lot of sea glass that was from wine bottles, quite like this. Uh, a few, uh, you know, brownish greens, some gray whites. Uh, yeah, this is a great call right now. Uh, especially the size of this sea glass is really turning up for me. Already, I was looking over here, and find another small piece just like that. Here we go. Now the way the tide is going out right now. Uh, but because the winds might be turning onshore at any point right now, they're kind of going parallel. Uh, the tide could be coming back in um, at a moment's notice. So I do need to keep an eye on the sky, uh, or at the ocean I should say, to make sure no big waves come up uh, and uh, enter this little area. We're kind of, I'm kind of slightly protected here, but all these rocks between me and the waves, so uh, any big wave that comes through I'll see pretty quickly, uh, and I can just walk up this hill. Not really expecting any of that craziness today, but uh, you never know with these things. Up here. Ooh, look at this. That's a good one. That's fairly good size. There's another good sized one. Typically when you come up into these bigger rocks, that's when, oh boy, that's when you find the bigger sea glass. There we are. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so here we go. This, I see this green. It's not, I think I'm gonna throw this back. Let that go. But this looks like tile. So I might keep that. It was littered here long ago. Here, check that out. Got the top of a bottle, two small whites. Out of seaweed here that might be covering up some of my treasure. The storm's brewing here in September in Northern California. Ooh, look, this is another piece of tile. That looks great. I'm take, taking that. Anything that I think is, anything that's not natural is free to take. Oh boy, that's a great white. That looks like the bottom of the bottle by the corner. That's fantastic. Ooh, ooh, oh wow. Look at that. Those are some great pieces. What's this? Is that sea glass? Yes, it is. It's a good brown. Let's do some digging. It's kind of early for that, but uh, tide has got to go out, anyways. That I'm going to throw back. That I'm going to keep. Ooh, look in here. Look at that piece. That's a good Coke bottle. Great blue. Nice. Another white in there. Ooh. It's amazing how often I've gone through this one little area, which probably doesn't even see all that much uh, new material coming in and out, and yet I'm still finding amazing sea glass in these locations. It's not, you know, I've gone through this one spot many times in the past, and it's not like the level of sea glass I'm collecting is decreasing. I'm sure it will, eventually, but it ain't happening yet. There's another brown piece. Yeah, 
Here's another Coke bottle one. That's great. No pinks yet today. And you know what? This pile, I don't know what it is about it. Here's another green. But you just don't find all that many green pieces of sea glass. I see that. Woo! Nice. That is a great piece of sea glass. Let me tell you folks, the air is so clean, fresh. This is fantastic. Oh, that's a great, that's an old piece of white sea glass. That's been poking around here for a while. Good find. But here's another, here's a lime green. Now this is great. That's a great piece of sea glass, huh? Look at that. Good quality, great color. Ooh. There you go. Here we go, look at that. Two great whites in a row. Sounds like I'm saying great right white shark. I'm saying, ooh, look at that. Check that out. It's unusually thin for sea glass. That's interesting. I see that green there. That's the one I spotted earlier. That I hey, there's a blue. There's a piece of blue sea glass. First of the day. As they've all been absolutely minuscule. I don't know why the blue sea glass is so small. Something about how they make it just gorgeous. That's a gorgeous piece of sea glass. Great bit of sun coming. Very windy, very stormy on today's sea glass hunt. Oh, look. That's great. Look inside here, look at this. Once the sun comes out, starts showing up all the rest of the sea glass. Get this piece, this piece. Inside here, I see this piece. Wow, this piece on this rock. Incredible. Okay, so from here on out, I'm just gonna show some of the best parts of my sea glass hunting for the next few hours, because I'm gonna be here for a while. I got sunscreen on, it's storming. I'm gonna go pick up this piece over here, which looks fantastic. Where'd it go, I just saw it. Here it is. That's a great coin-like piece. Um, All right, this latest rain band is coming through. It is heavy, uh, and the winds are gusting to about 25 miles an hour. Rain rates, I would say, are something on the order of about half an inch an hour or so. Nothing too intense, but uh, it's been raining like steadily for the last 15, 20 minutes. I got soaking wet, uh, and I got really cold. So I'm gonna take it easy for a little while, uh, and I'm just gonna show you what I found uh, sea glass wise so far. All right, here we are. So. Um, this has been a pretty good haul, I would say, so far. Um, a lot of quality pieces. Color and quality and size have been great today. But I think the quality is what takes the cake. Um, I'm going to pull out a few here. Uh, this piece I found earlier, it looks kind of black. It's olive green, but it is a great piece of sea glass. Uh, you can see it on my black jeans here uh, in comparison to color. Um, Let's get out a normal green. This this is kind of a wine bottle green. Right, that's a wine bottle olive green. Um, here's a lime green. I'm just gonna pull out a different green pieces here. Not a not a huge uh, green sea glass beach, but um, yeah. So you can see just all the difference here. This is lime. This is forest green. These are the very common ones that you find all over the world. And this is kind of the a darker olive green. But this piece right here, that is just spectacular. Uh, I'm gonna hold it up to the light a little bit. Um, 
I don't know how, again, it's kind of be kind of difficult to see because the sun is not out. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great piece of sea glass. That's definitely uh, incredible. Um, a few other whites. I found this one just after I stopped filming at one point. Didn't really feel like starting again. Um, but it's the top of a bottle. Um, it's a great, great brown piece. Um, we've got a number of spectacular whites. Uh, this one in particular I had also recorded because uh, of just how great it was. Um, it's darker than usual. I'm going to pull out a regular white piece of sea glass. Um, I should say it's more yellow than usual. That's what they should look like. Uh, but this one's been out here for a very long time uh, until it got found today. And so um, we're doing well there. Uh, here's a, a small kind of turquoise. This one is from Coke Bottles. I can actually manage to pull it out of the bag here. Um, I can't pull it out of the bag. Now it's gone. Anyways, uh, here's another piece. This one is also pretty incredible um and it it looks like it's a coke bottle it's not it's something else and it's pretty um i want that coke bottle one come on what the heck okay i have it now there we are this is what the coke bottles are like but this one is a bit more um it's like it's got a little bit more yellowish hue to it than the regular Coke bottle blue. So um, that's an incredible piece as well. Uh, this is my largest piece that I found today so far. Uh, it's a brown piece. As with all large pieces of sea glass, it doesn't necessarily uh, have the quality to go along with it. Um, so there's kind of a, a smooth edge here. Um, almost all sides of it, except for over here, uh, are damaged somewhere. Um, this was damaged not too recently, and so it's smoothened out on the side, um, but it's still noticeable. It's not as rounded as back here. It's not, you know, it's it's um, become frosted, but it's not rounded yet. So um, it's an okay. It's a it's a pretty good piece. Um, size wise, that's where it wins out. Um, this was a great piece because of its size. Um, another lime green that really uh, stands out. I guess it's not as lime green as this one over here, um, but it's. It's definitely still pretty good. Um, it's still raining, so I'm going to wait a little while longer again. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? Here's another good blue. Yeah, this is a this is a great this is a great haul for today. Um, I would say so, huh? A lot of white pieces, a lot of large quality white pieces of sea glass that are just spectacular. Um, there's also some baby uh, cobalt blues in here. Nothing too incredible. Um, you know, you, you will find them on occasion. They're not all that difficult to find a couple times uh, per hunt, but uh, it's just the size is so pathetic that it really um, is nothing, it's nothing too amazing because they're so small. Um, but here's another uh, good uh, olive, you know, olive green, just like that one. But I think this dark piece is probably the best piece of sea glass I have today. It's got, it's a pretty good size. Its quality is fantastic, and its color is fantastic. Um, and so those are the three markers used for sea glass. But we're going to go hunting again when this rain shower passes. I'm seeing the radar. It's uh, beginning to clear up eventually here soon, and so um, it looks pretty stormy out there, but uh, eventually uh, it should be better. It's probably been about two hours since my last video. Uh, I've been hunting a lot more sea glass out here, doing a lot of digging. The tide is now beginning to rise. Um, not finding a whole lot. You know, I did say earlier in this video that uh, I was surprised how much sea glass this area keeps producing. But it seems like the lot, you know, when I'm walking around for the first about 30 minutes, there's quite a bit of sea glass. But as I go on, uh, finding less and less. Oh my God, I just found a second in car. Okay, I'm filming this. Holy crap. Oh my god, are you joking right now? Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Okay, I'm filming this video because I just found arguably one of the most incredible pieces of sea glass color-wise. Oh my god! No way! Three in a row! Oh, I'm about to show you all this. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. That's like four incredible pieces right next to each other. I just found the two most incredible pieces within 30 seconds of each other. One of which during my video, which you guys just saw. Check these pieces out. 
Yo! Are you kidding? I just found that paint. I found this piece right here first. I looked at that. That is, I, I do not have a color that's that piece of sea glass. I've collected tens of thousands of pieces of sea glass. I do not have a color that is that. That is gorgeous. I found this pink during my video and then that blue on the side a few seconds later. These two are also pretty good pieces. Those are incredible pieces of sea glass that I just found here on my episode three of my sea glass hunt. Wow, look at that. Um, that is just incredible. I am, I'm in awe. This kind of sandy soil is not great. You want you want water to come and wash away all the little bits of sand and just leave behind the bigger rocks so we can collect sea glass. But that's it. I'm going to go find a new sea glass spot uh, and then head home. Oh. Stormy day here in half, not half Moon Bay, near half Moon Bay, San Mateo County Coast. Day three of my sea glass hunt. <laughs>